You may remember when Aston Martin introduced the Signet City car back in 2011. Oh, how we laughed at the idea of a £30,000 rebadged Toyota IQ that had just been smothered in leather. Well, get ready to laugh again because this thing is 10 times more ridiculous. At the request of one particularly unhinged owner, Aston's Q department have managed to shoehorn in the 4.7 litre V8 from the old Vantage S under this teeny tiny bonnet here. Now that sends 430 horsepower to the rear wheels. Unsurprisingly, it required some light modification to make this actually work. So instead of 16 inch wheels, we've got 19 inch wheels. We've got the front and rear subframes taken from the Vantage S, hence these rather abrupt carbon fiber arch extensions here. We've also got an entirely new front bulkhead and a bespoke exhaust system at the back that sits underneath the fuel tank. Okay. Oh no, one sec. Bear with me. Just one minute, easy does it, and we're in. Very, very practical car this, look how easy that was. Now, on the inside we have Recaro seats, we have racing harnesses, we have a roll cage behind us, there's loads of carbon fiber. We also have this bigger transmission tunnel housing the seven speed automated manual and the dashboard, well, it's basically a mishmash of buttons lifted from the old Vantage S. While we're here, I think it'd be rude if we didn't listen to what a V8 in a city car sounds like. So if I push the crystal key here. Oh yes. <laughs> Tell you what, beats a three cylinder, doesn't it? That is the advantage of the world's shortest exhaust pipes. Weirdly, there are some actual drawbacks to this car, and the main one is weight, because it weighs 1,375 kilos as opposed to 990 kilos for the donor car. But don't worry, it still has 313 horsepower per tonne, which means 0-60 in 4.2 seconds, and a top speed of 170 miles an hour. In fact, Top Gear Zone Oli Maris took his brave pills recently and drove this very car up the Goodwood Hill, and he described it as, and I quote, a proper, honest to goodness, belly tickling, shoulder shaking, thigh slapping laugh. A proper antidepressant that should be available on prescription. Yeah, the Aston Martin Prozac. Has a bit of a ring to it, doesn't it? Don't forget to subscribe to the Top Gear YouTube channel so you never have to miss any of our new videos.